Well, what we're doing is we just gathering together all of the partners on the Bracknell site. There are others in our branches who bought Nissan Leafs. Um, now, this is about green motoring, of course, at the end of the day, but it's also about some really sound economic sense. This is the new wave of transport. Yes, there are other technologies, hydrogen fuel cells, etc., etc. But actually, everybody's got a charge point at home. It's a, th a 13 amp pin, basically. The trend is towards charging where people spend the most time with their cars parked. So at home, yes. At work, yes. And it's really great to see Waitrose getting behind that with a couple of, with a, with a couple of charge points uh, here on site. Uh, I think what you can see from the number of owners, and actually I do know there are many more uh, in the wings, um, we're probably gonna have to think a little bit about how many more charge points we actually provide. It's free to charge in Waitrose stores and it's free to charge on the motorway on the electric highway. So we sort of quote about three pence a mile for, for, for your mileage. But if you charge strategically at free charge points, it's obviously gonna work out less than that. An electric car, the characteristic of it is that it is fast. Now that's because you've got a flat torque curve, which means the engine or the motor pulls at full power from zero revs. So you get away from the lights really fast. And I think if you ask anybody who drives an electric vehicle, that's perhaps the most surprising thing, just how fast they are. It's a great car, the family enjoy it. My daughter thinks it's brilliant. Um, she wants me to get a second one. Hi there, this is my Leaf and I absolutely love it. I've had it since the beginning of March and I've really noticed a difference in um, how much I'm spending on electricity versus diesel for my old car. Um, it's really nippy, really nippy, um, and it's absolutely fabulous having the charging points at Bracknell, which means I can come in, park in a spot, charge up, and then I'm all good to go. The next thing you notice, they're really, really, really smooth. And of course, they're silent. They're so silent, in fact, that Nissan had to redesign the headlamp cluster to deflect the, the, the airstream away from the wing mirrors because it was just making too much noise. Every day uh, is a, a fantastic day when I glide out of my drive with no sound at all and uh, very, very pleased to have bought it. So yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with the car. It's, um, it's a bit strange initially because it really doesn't make any noise at all, um, but it, it's great and um, I'm really, really enjoying driving it. I've just about realized that I don't need to use my left leg anymore, um, which has taken some time, but no, really good, very, very pleased. The build quality on the Nissan Leaf is very high. You hear rattles very badly when your car is silent, and uh, so they just had to build a good quality car. So it's fantastic, it's really smooth, really fast, really quiet, and I have to say, really cheap. No road tax, no congestion charge, and two to three pence a mile. But why is the government worried about this? It's not about cheapness or greenness, it's about air pollution. And actually the public health agenda zero emission zones, etc. That's what's driving it. 